Hi, I'm Helen from the Writing Development Centre, back with another You Ask the WDC. Now the question this time is, how do I improve my grammar? And that's quite a large topic and the answer is slightly different depending on whether you're a native speaker of English or whether English is a second language for you. So in this response, I'd like to focus on tips and suggestions for people who have English as a first language and we'll do a separate set of tips for people who have English as a second language. So it might surprise some people, but native speakers of English do occasionally make grammar mistakes in their writing. Even I do. And it might be for a number of reasons. It could be that we were simply not aware that that particular issue was a mistake. We've been writing that for years and we had no idea. It could be that something like dyslexia is impacting on our ability to pick up on these errors. Um, grammar is obviously important because it features in the marking criteria. So it might be something that you're explicitly marked on. But even if it's not, it still does give the reader perhaps a, a bit of a poor impression of your writing if there are errors there. They might feel that perhaps you haven't taken as much care over the work as you might have done. And of course, we know that that's not always the cause. So in this particular response, I'd like to explore some of the reasons why you might be getting feedback that you need to improve your grammar as a native speaker and what to do about it. So the first thing to ask yourself is, is it really grammar that's the problem? You might have been prompted to look at grammar because of a piece of feedback, um, but it may also be that there's something else going on with your writing, but it's not actually grammar at all. There's no errors in your work. What might be happening is that academic writing has a number of very unusual stylistic conventions uh, that aren't to do with grammar at all. It's not about correct or incorrect usage. It's about writing in the right recognisable style. And the reader might just have got the impression that there is something not quite right about the writing, hasn't been able to identify exactly what's given them that impression and has said, oh, you need to improve your grammar. It's not grammar. So in those instances, it might be worth getting a second opinion, perhaps from one of the writing development centre tutors or a friend of yours who's particularly good at writing and just asking, is this a grammar issue or is there just something not entirely conventional about my style? Now for sentence structure particularly, one of the reasons why grammatical errors start to creep into our writing in academic writing is that we possibly are trying too hard. We're dealing with very complex ideas. We're trying to write as, as formally and as academically as we can. And sometimes we overdo it and we end up with sentences which, which start to break down under their own weight. So one thing you might try is to just to try and tone it down very slightly and see if that improves, particularly issues around sentence structure. It could also be something to do with the editing process. Uh, when we're writing and we're developing ideas and we're thinking about how to articulate them and we're thinking about referencing and we're thinking about structure, grammar is just another thing to consider in all of that. So it may be that you need to build in some time at the end of the writing process just to go back and check specifically for grammar issues. So the other thing to think about is how serious an issue is this? It could be that there's just one or two errors, maybe it's a stray apostrophe, maybe it's a comma out of place, and your particular reader in that instance is a real stickler for grammar, and that in itself was enough to make them say, you need to look at your grammar, because it was just one or two things that if you managed to pick them up, then it would have given a much better impression. It could equally be though, that there are a broader range of issues throughout the piece of work that you need to look at. Some of them may be more serious than others, impacting more on understanding the meaning of your writing. Some of them might be fairly minor and just a little bit of a, a niggle for your reader. So to get a sense of what we're dealing with, you'll need to do a bit of a diagnostic on your own writing to see what the issues are, how widespread they are and how much of a problem they are. It can sting a bit when we're given the feedback that there's something wrong with the way that we write. Writing is a very personal thing. It's a way of articulating ourselves and expressing our voice. So we need to keep this in, in perspective and we need to prioritise so that we can move forward. You could make an appointment with the Writing Development Centre to talk to one of our tutors. You could also ask the lecturer who's given you that feedback whether they can point out the main examples or even name the issues that they think you ought to focus on. So how do you go about actually improving your grammar? Well, if you're a native speaker of English, maybe you're a home student or you're from one of the other countries that have English as a first language. 
Um, this is probably an easier job because from my experience, it's probably one of a small handful of issues. Um, it's probably commas, apostrophes, possibly semicolons. It could also be um, sentence structure, either run on sentences where two sentences accidentally get glued together or fragment sentences where actually there's not enough there for it to be a complete sentence or it might be accidentally confusing one word for another there and there or it's and it's, for example. Um, as I mentioned, it's probably one of a small handful of issues. So the trick is to identify which of those it is. It's probably not more than one or two and read up about those. You don't need to go away and read lots of grammar books, just the relevant pages. You could try books in the library. You could have a Google for online resources. The Writing Development Centre has a few resources on the most common grammar issues on the Ask website as well. Above all, make it active. Just rereading a grammar book or looking at an online resource isn't really going to help it sink in. So after you've read something, you might ask yourself, can I recite that particular grammar rule? Can I explain that principle of grammar back to myself in my own words? You might want to do some of the little tests and quizzes that come with grammar books and online resources. Um, they can be very helpful for practicing and making sure that you're applying something correctly and checking your knowledge. So once you've had a read of those, you've got your head around what the particular um, grammatical issue is and just pay attention to just that one or two things in your next draft. That should really make a huge difference to the quality of your writing.